Yeah. Well, I just, anyone watching today and you're thinking, you may be a pastor watching or a family, just a regular guy, and you're thinking, you know, I'm in the biggest, I'm in the biggest mess I've ever been. My business is in trouble. I've learned something in my circumstance. If I don't speak, if I don't speak negatively, if I don't let, let this negativity come out of my spirit, I keep my mouth shut and I speak praise and victory and I love Jesus and God's made a way for me. What happens is you, you start going back against the pressure of the, of the circumstance with faith. And faith is the answer. And I'm not talking about this, this you know, Hollywood faith. I'm talking about real trusting Jesus. Trust yeah. is mature right. faith. Let me say that again for you. Trust is mature faith. And when you come to a point that you say, I have been here before and God has seen me through the circumstance, then confidence comes from trust. David, when he went before Saul, he was so convincing. This wee boy, this little shepherd guy shows up and says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he would defy the armies of the living God? His confidence in an unconfident, terrifying situation. Every time that the soldiers heard Goliath speak, they ran into the tent and hid. And this little kid comes in and says, hey, who's this guy? Confidence and in God and knowing that the bear and the lion had been defeated before him gives him the courage to go to Saul and say, I can do this. And if you can look back, and if you're watching me just now in a, in a, in a crisis, and, and everything, you're like in a tornado, and everything's flying around your head, and the devil's trying to use confusion to destroy you. Listen to me. Peace be still. He has delivered you before, and he is going to deliver you again. Because he has put his name on you. And when God looks at me, he no more sees the things I've done. He only sees the blood of his crucified son. And I just, I just, I know this, Chuck, that there are people watching right now and pastors maybe that are saying, man, I'm going through the biggest trial of my life. And, 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 and Chuck's telling us that he went through the same pandemic as I did and God's enlarged him in his, in his situation. It's amazing. 